Hey baby, what's your status? And tell me how you're trying to keep it. Well, they can all back. Hey guys, it's Jeannie with Dog Face Training and Shooting Star Portuguese Water Dogs. And this is my little nine week old Portuguese Water Dog puppy named Tallulah. And she is crazy smart and super fun to train. So we're doing essentially her very first formal crate training today. And she is going to totally get this in like six minutes. It's amazing. Um, so see what I'm doing right here is I'm giving her a little jackpot. I'm giving her treat, 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 because what she's doing is exactly what I want. She's staying in the, oh, no deal. But I was treating her because she was staying in the crate, and that's the whole idea of being able to walk into the crate and then eventually lay down in the crate. So I'm doing kind of a combination of luring. So I just lured her in the crate with the treat. And then also operant conditioning, where I'm essentially not telling her what I want her to do, but what I'm doing is marking and rewarding baby steps to get to my desired behavior. The desired behavior of which is going into the crate, laying down, and staying in there. So today we're just going to work for a few minutes to see how far we can get. We always want to end on a good note and end with your puppy kind of wanting a little bit more. See, she knows where those treats are. Those high value treats. Cut up cheese, hot, nice girl. Another little jackpot. Good puppy. She laid down on her own right there. I did not even tell her to do it. But she's starting to have um, a thinking mind. She's been brought up as an enrichment seeker. So she's always kind of thinking, what can I do next to get that reward? So I just gave her just a little mental break there, told her how smart she was, and now I'm doing the same thing, pointing in the crate, nice, not giving her her treat until she's actually in the crate. I don't want to treat her for a behavior that's not towards my goal. Good girl. Now she's staying in the crate nicely, so she's getting more treats. Oh, no deal. I was going to wait a second there to see if she was going to lay down, but she didn't. She chose to jump over. So each time she stops and looks at me, although it's awesome and endearing, and I love that type of attention. Oh, hey, sweetie. Hi, little baby girl. I'm not going to reward her, reward her for coming out of the crate and looking at me because that's not what we're working on right now. What we're working on right now is nice. Being in the crate, being calm. And understanding that she stays in the crate until I tell her it's okay to come out. But again, she's nine weeks old, and this is her first session, so we're not going to go super far. So she's doing really well, and I am going to treat her because the door is now shut. Good girl. Can you see how she kind of moves around a little bit when she's in there? She's like, should I do this? No, oh, no, she's just looking for crumbs. Good girl. I'm still treating her because she's doing exactly what I want. She's not trying to get out. She's not pawing at the door. She's not barking. She is going to get rewarded. Good puppy. And she's laying down, which was amazing. So now I'm just going to pause because, no. Good girl. All of the treats. All of the calm praise for me, she's going to get while she's in that crate. Good puppy. And I'm also using a clicker, so I'm clicking and treating each time. So she was doing good laying down, so I'm trying to, sh to shut the door again. Good puppy. Still being like a rock star. Yep, I'm really good at dropping treats in the wrong places. Good puppy. And you're obviously not really seeing too much of me in this video today because, let's face it, sometimes when we train our dogs, we're in our pajamas. <laughs> Good. Now she's getting a little antsy. She's like, oh, what's going to work? Good girl. Laying down is going to work. So I'm going to try to not really treat her for sitting. I'm going to start just treating her now for laying down. It's that idea of once they start doing a behavior about 80% of the time, 
you stop rewarding it and wait for them to do the next behavior that you want. She's not getting any treats right now. She's got to try to figure it out a little bit. Hmm. I'm going to give her a little help. Good girl. There she gets the treat once her body's all the way in it. And now I'm going to wait and see if she... Good. Oh, I was a little too quick. I should have waited half... Good girl. I should have waited half a second more for her to lay all the way down. This is the perfect time to end our training, end our training session because she's being so smart. She's going into the crate, laying down right away, staying in the crate. So I'm just going to close the door for a couple more seconds, give her a couple more treats, and then end her training session. Check back to see how she does tomorrow.